Hello builders and welcome back to MB Bricks. Maya here and I'm going to take you through my newest mock based off of the Harry Potter books and movies, specifically the Chamber of Secrets. This video will contain spoilers from the movie and book, so if you haven't seen or read them, do yourself a favor and go indulge yourself because they are amazing. I actually started this mock quite a few months ago but lost interest and had to put it aside for a while. I completed the bathroom fairly quickly and really liked how it turned out but I didn't have the motivation to finish the actual Chamber of Secrets. I was attempted to leave it as a mock as the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, but I knew I had to finish what I set out to build. I completely enjoy this hobby, so I knew I was not going to continue building until I was motivated and instead worked on other projects. I'm glad I decided to finish it though, as I love the end result. My biggest concern was building the face carved into the stone where we first see the basilisk in the movie but I certainly surprised myself with how it turned out. But let's not get too far ahead in this mock. We are obviously going to start up at the top at the entrance in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. I had a lot of fun building this bathroom. I am not one to normally cover floors with tile, but I needed the slick bathroom tile look, so I made sure to include a basic design using light and dark bluish gray pieces. I created toilet stalls on one side using dark green pieces and created a basic toilet design similar to the one in my Jurassic Park mock. Of course I had to include Moaning Myrtle in this mock so I made her character using a snape head and the hair piece is from the zombie cheerleader collectible minifigure. That was all I needed as the rest of her body is hanging out in the U-Bend. The sinks were the hardest part of the bathroom and it took several designs to get it right. I tried to make them fairly simple, but show some of the intricate designs as shown in the movie. The grates show where the one sink was lowered when Harry spoke open up in parcel tongue, presenting the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. I finished off the room with a large bay window and a door leading back to the corridor of the castle. When the characters leap into the opening in the sinks, they will fall a small distance and then ride the dark brown spiral slide to the bottom. Dean Thomas has volunteered to show this. Thanks Dean. I'm going to remove the bathroom roof to let more light in to see the lower layer. The bottom of the chamber is littered with bones and teeth and there is a lot of rock work which took the most amount of time to build. Lockhart is lying in the corner as his Oblivion's charm backfired using Ron's broken wand, which is lying beside him. Just to the right, Ron is working on shifting some of the fallen rock so Harry can get back through after hopefully rescuing Ron's sister Ginny. This next room over shows the large snakeskin molted off of the basilisk. I created the skin using trans-clear 2x2 slope pieces and adding trans-clear 1x1 and 1x2 plates for detail. Harry had gone a bit ahead to investigate the snakeskin while Ron and Lockhart hung back. Lockhart then stole Ron's broken wand to cast memory charms on both Ron and Harry. However, it backfired, causing the confused Lockhart and falling rocks, preventing Harry from getting back. So, to summarize, we have a confused Lockhart, Ron working to shift rocks, and the last door that Harry said open in parcel tongue to gain access to the final room. We have a lot going on in here as I recreated the climax of the movie and book. The floor is once again covered in tiles as the ground was covered with a small layer of water overflowing from the pools on either side. The pools each host a carved serpent which lines the path on either side. My favorite part of these are the red flag pieces that I used for tongues. At this point in the scene, Fox the Phoenix has already arrived to bring Harry the Sorting Hat. Just inside the hat emerges the Sword of Gryffindor, which Harry uses to eventually defeat the Basilisk. At the end of the path, Ginny is lying there, Tom Riddle's diary beside her, with the memory of Tom Riddle himself standing in the corner as he slowly gets stronger. Finally, we have the Basilisk entering the room through the mouth of the large face carved into the stone. I was not sure if I was going to be able to pull this off, but I am happy with the end result. I started with the mouth and nose and built up the sides to the top. For the eyes, I used these light bluish gray crystal ball pieces, which I think gave it a very creepy look. I am glad I decided to wait and finish this mock off properly. 
I look forward to creating more scenes from the Harry Potter series, so if you guys have any ideas for me, please let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for checking out this mock, and see you in the next video. Keep on building!